Style. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Okay, coming up today on Indie Style, the produce mom is here, and she's producing some uh, fun recipes and also introducing a new fruit. There she is. The you want do to it. Do it. Mandarosa. Mandarosa. Mandarin. Yes. Mandarosa. Red dress, like the emoji girl. The Toy Fair in New York City presents thousands of new toys from more than a hundred countries. Katie's here from Indie with Kids to show mm -hmm. off some of the newest toys and toy trends. Fun, fun, fun. Plus, you can give the gift of a fun experience this Valentine's Day. Nickel Plate Arts is rolling out the red carpet with hands-on experiences for you and someone special too. I love this because it's something different to mm -hmm. do on Valentine's Day. Maybe you're kind of bored and you do the same old thing, right? Mm -hmm. Dinner and a movie. I'm looking, which is great, but... I'm looking forward to going to the grocery store tomorrow and seeing the, the, the glass cage of lost men. I know. Grabbing things at the, at the last minute. Shop, yeah, right? that's, that's meant to only hold three or four people, but yeah. everyone's in there and they're just panicking. Do something like that, yeah. That's Nickel plate art, so it'd be different. great. And don't get me wrong, flowers are too. beautiful. Mm -hmm. But if you want to put a little extra thought, but not have to do a whole lot of work mm -hmm. to do that extra thought, that would be a good idea. And it's an experience yep. that you guys can have together. And then you've got the art that you created as a lasting right. keepsake for that. And then you could just keep it or hang it up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so up. our Facebook question today has to do with what we are eventually talking about in the mm -hmm. kitchen with the produce mom. Mushrooms, where mushrooms. do you stand or sit? or whatever fetal position yeah. on mushrooms. Do you like them? Do you not like them? So people are... Yeah. Like, Does it depend on what... I, because there are a lot of types of mushrooms out there. Is it a texture thing? Mm -hmm. Is it a taste thing? Uh, this is our question of the day. Tracy, I think last time we checked, most people say, yeah, they like mushrooms, 61% to 39%. There are a lot more varieties of mushrooms than maybe a lot of people think. Or maybe a lot of, a lot of food, if you've had a bad experience... At one point in your life, you may write something off. That's true. Like, oh, no, I don't like that because of whatever. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, let's read some of these comments and see what people are saying out there. Linda, love them raw or cooked. Pizza, scrambled eggs, oh, scrambled roast, eggs. stuffed, and with just about anything else. Yep. I'm with her. Me too, Linda. Exactly. And Judy says, yes, I put them in soups and casseroles. Really good nutrition. That, that of course, is, is true. That is very true. That is true. Um, the produce moms, I think we know her, yeah. right? Yeah, she's sort of stacking the deck on our... Uh, <laughs> on our poll question. Love, 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 give me all the produce. Dot, 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 except, except the well, there it is. That's what happens when you go Maybe. be nuts. And oh, that Melinda, Melinda, yeah, you mentioned her earlier, but love mushrooms raw cooked. I also love going mushroom hunting. Yeah. I own, we also almost put that as a Facebook question, maybe a side note. Do you go mushroom mm -hmm. hunting? I used to as a kid, and I love it. Uh, Mark says, yes, we do. Morels go great with steak on the grill when they are fried. Otherwise, I put them in chili, meatloaf, and chef's salad. Oh, chili. Mmm. Meatloaf. I put mushrooms in chili. And I do a stuffed uh, green pepper soup too, and I'll put mushrooms in that. It's really good. I, I get nostalgic for like, the, the deep fried breaded mushrooms. Yeah. As a kid, there was a, there was a beach hut. Yeah. <laughs> by oh. the lake that, that served them all the time. And that would be a whole meal for me, just an order of, of yeah. uh, deep fried breaded mushrooms. You may not know that. I got to tell you something because there's a place on our side of town, on our side of town, and I don't remember the name, I'll ask my husband, but they have. These amazing deep fried mushrooms, some of the, the best that I've tried. Cool. I'll, awesome. I'll find out. Then. Welcome to Brownsburg Chat. It's our new podcast that's <laughs> yeah. going to start airing after uh, Indie Style. Not really, yeah. but okay. No. Thank you. I will get that from you. You're welcome. Uh, let's look inside the Granite Transformation Green Room, shall we? Yes, let's do. Good morning. All right, so there are the folks from Nickel Plate Arts. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be doing a craft yeah, today, probably. Tracy. Felting. Yeah. You're going to be felting. felting. I'm going to be doing a craft it. later, and I don't even know what it is. I'm doing a craft right now. Okay. <laughs> Dipping fruit and chocolate. In the oh. kitchen with Lord Kid, the produce mom. Look at all your stuff. It's, it's Valentine's so cute. Day. It is. And what goes better than chocolate dipped fruits on mm -hmm. Valentine's Day, right? I love it. Okay, so we are showcasing this really exciting new citrus fruit, Mandarosa. Mandarosa. Now, no, it's really cool because this is formerly, it was only grown in Sicily. Okay. Oh. And now it's here in the United States being grown by one of our California citrus growers. So it's Available. an orange. It's an orange. So it's a it's a natural cultivar or a hybrid fruit. So that means they take two different varieties and turn it into one new fruit. And it mm. is, any guesses? It's so pretty. With that color? What? It's like ruby. Um. Like ruby red? Blood, blood orange is blood, blood, blood orange. Oranges. And everyone's favorite piece of citrus, like all the kids have to have mm -hmm. the clementines. Right. So, yeah. yeah. So that is the mandarosa is half. Oh, cool. Blood orange, half clementine. Huh. So it's seedless, it's easy to peel, it's sweet, it's got this amazing color. 
And um, look at how cool this is. This is one Manda Rosa that I peeled. So it's eight segments. And look at all that color. I know it. It's like this natural ombre fruit. Hmm. I mean, you're talking cheap thrills this Valentine's Day. No, Just get everyone a Manda Rosa. I, I, I'm going to get some, and then my son can blow his classmates' mind at lunch. When right. He talks, yeah. When he opens right. It up and it's yeah. Not but look at that cross section. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's rich. So we That'll be a beautiful cocktail garnish, too. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect segue. Thank oh. you. All right. So this beautiful, vibrant juice that oh, almost has the ombre that. effect on yes. it. Right now. It does. This is some fresh squeezed mandarosas. I just you just used, squeeze it in there? Yep. I actually just use my, um, like what I usually use okay. for lemons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And this is a bag and a half, all right? And I it yields two cups. Super juicy fruit, okay? Adding that to some champagne. Oh, that's a nice idea. Very on trend, perfect color for your mimosas this Valentine's Day. This is also, like, this juice is so good. You could absolutely do mocktails with, mm -hmm. like, sure. a little toy. Um, yes, of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you want, like, you, if you want to make it more of a cocktail mm -hmm. or a martini, yeah, you could add Grand Marnier to it. So that is what we're going to do okay. here with the, we're, we have just a basic cheesecake. So mm -hmm. if you don't want to make a cheesecake, just go buy one, okay? okay? And then you can elevate it with this little tip. Okay. One cup powdered sugar. We're going to add... A little bit of Grand Marnier. Seven glug. Oh, yeah, right? So this is an adult cheesecake, <laughs> all right, because we're not cooking out the alcohol. And then we're going to add this Mandarosa juice. Mm. And look at how pretty that, that glaze becomes. It takes on that gorgeous color. Stir it together. And then you can just... See so one a little bit thick. I guess not yeah, too much of that. Yeah, I mean, just watery. any time you... Yeah, and, you know, when you get to the point where you're like, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. You know? And, hey, it's Valentine's Day, and you're doing a homemade glaze on yeah. a cheesecake. Come on, don't overthink it. This is... Oh, that's this such is a big time, color. That's right? like a Isn't that beautiful? pink. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? It's very soft. Very pretty. We're just going to drizzle it here over the cheesecake. Oh, cute. Isn't that beautiful? And you could absolutely, like, take a mandarosa make a little decor here, mm. you know? Yeah. So it's really, I don't know, I guess that, that almost, I don't know, maybe that's not good decor. That's kind of good decor. It's <laughs> art, right? The, the lady coming in will be like, no, no, that's no, not it's not. <laughs> yeah. Do what you like. Um, another great tip, too, when you're, when you're working with citrus fruits, it's amazing how just a little bit of the zest, the zest. adds so much flavor. So invest in a good zester. It's like the best thing you'll ever do. They're about $10. I got mine at the grocery store. Wash your wash your citrus fruit and just mm, zest like over the top. And then you could even like take one of the dip chocolates or something if you wanted to put those well, on there. Oh, we're talking! Oh yeah, I know, right? Perfect. Dip like chocolate that. right there on top. Mm -hmm. Now, now that is. I yeah. mean, that's art, mm -hmm. right? That's yeah. totally art. Yes, I agree. So I these are these mandarosas are available for a limited time. So don't hesitate if you see them. I mean, mm -hmm. this is this is the first year they're available in the U.S. So. Okay. Demand is high, supply is limited. Look at this. Did they bring like That's seeds cute. and trees over from Italy, or did they do the hybrid here? Um, you know what? The, the growers aren't going to necessarily disclose that, so oh, okay. I don't really okay. know. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. I get it. I get but it. The most important thing that all consumers want to know is the fact that it's all natural. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and yeah. the, these are just two of a two of our favorite varieties: blood mm -hmm. orange, clementine, coming together. Yeah. And if your grocer doesn't have them. You know, just ask for them by name, Mandarosa. Yeah. I need them. Okay. It happened, it happened in an them. orchard, not in a lab, is what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, and it's, you know, this, this natural, these natural cultivars, it is the future of agriculture. Mm -hmm. Like, the new yeah. varieties are going to be things just like the specialty mm -hmm. citrus that are coming onto the market. Taste better, look better. That's what we all want, right? That's what you want. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thanks. For ProduceFarms.com, we got the link on IndieStyle.tv. We may be pretty far from the next holiday season, but it's never too early to start looking at some of the latest <laughs> toy and oh, game trends for kids and kids alike. Katie's with us when we come back.